Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the gameplay objective Emerson card to review. Uh, guys, we're taking a look at someone who is 5'11", high, high work rates, right footed, four star skills, four star weak fit. So height is pretty decent, you know, we take a look at his body type in gaming as the lean body type. So lean body type with dribbling stats like this. Okay, so... We could try him as a center mid because technically, yes, you can give him an engine chemistry style to make him feel as responsive as possible. Give him nice little passing boost, pace boost. But the way that this card is formatted, you're supposed to use him on an anchor playing as probably your CDM. Yeah, you could do that as a CDM or again, if you're using him as a right mid, then the engine chemistry style would make the most sense. But since the shooting is set up the way that it is, I wouldn't do that. I would give him an anchor to use him as one of my two midfielders or three midfielders. We're going to be trying him out in the 4 one 2 and 2 anyways on the cover center instruction at center mid. So we're going to be testing it out anyways. It doesn't really matter, you know. Uh, but the card's going to have 95 acceleration, 98 sprint speed because I like the strength boost on the card. It looks pretty cool. So we're going to try that out. But I might still give him a shadow because you guys know pace in this game is kind of crazy. Uh, but shooting. So he has 96 shot power with 80 finishing, but the shot power is there. So that's very, very important. Like I mentioned in the uh, Spinach Zola review because of the types of shots you end up taking anyways. Uh, base card stats for passing as a player that, I, again, I would mainly use as a CDM is decent. But in the right mid area, kind of like the way that Spurs plays in real life, right wing back, if you will. Uh, engine chemistry style will be boosting the passing, the dribbling, the pace. So, a couple of interesting variables there. Um, I'm definitely going to be trying him on the anchor mainly, though. Just the way that the card looks. What are people giving him? Anchor or engine? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, dribbling we'll be experimenting with in the midfield setup to see if he feels a little more physical oriented to mainly use him as one of two CDMs. Uh, defensive stats will be in a pretty decent area, and then the physical will be at 99, which is obviously fantastic. So, yeah, the way that the card is going to be used in-game, uh, because this team is formatted a little strangely, but we could definitely make it work. Wait, Di Natale. Oh! We're going to do this. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do that, because what I can do is use Di Natale as the attacking one. Or J Zola. Yeah, we're going to do this instead. Perfect. Uh, but yeah, we'll try him out in that right center mid position on cover center, and we'll take it from there. Oh, almost, almost. He was initially tracking there, but nothing much afterwards. <laughs> A little turnaround dribble, okay. Take that, Emerson. Very fast on Amagiri cancel. No, Emerson, the reach is pointless. You gotta get him, IG. Pointless. Oh, tackle, man. That's, that's why it's weird to have two commands in the same area. Listen, man, I have an anchor on him, but I feel like I need a shadow. It's just in this game, you just you feel it. Uh, sure, 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 sure. Thank you, Emerson. That's like the first thing he's done like in so long. Thank you, Emerson. And then I don't know what's happening right here, but it doesn't do anything there. Nothing too crazy there. Definitely has that like emphasis feel that you would have to uh, 
you know, maybe give him like an engine chemistry style for, you know. Tries to go for the reach there too. I just defend perfectly just to not get rewarded. It's amazing in this game. Thank you, Emerson. Nothing there either. Thank you, Emerson. Oh, we're good. There's a foul. And it's a red card. Was that Emerson with the pass? Yeah, it was. We'll take that, though. Nicely done. Get that one. Nope. Let go of him so he can go back in position. There we go. I'll take that. Emerson's like, oh, oh, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> It's a good way. Uh, it's a good place to give the ball away. Just to uh, test out the uh, defense. Pass it up. There you go. Nice. Good goal. Start from him there too. That's good. We move. We move. Yeah. So whatever you do, do not use this car as a center mid. As a center mid, he like uh, just doesn't contribute anything. Like it's a card you have to use as a defensive mid for the most part you know that was my fault to be fair that was a really bad pass by me oh, back in position we're got we're okay we're okay back down Well done, Emerson. Huh. <laughs> Imagine I score the finesse from there, that'd be nuts. That works. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new gameplay objective Emerson card. So uh, like I was saying earlier in the video, the card is formatted a certain way where certain things are a little strange for someone that you want to use in the game nowadays but the thing is, is that it's the type of card where ea have improved him to the point where he is going to be good enough to use in the meta the gameplay now i will say that if you use this card on your team i don't recommend using him as a center mid or even a right mid this is a card that you mainly use as a cdm in your team right lone cdm one of two cdms one of two midfielders that's how you're going to want to use this emerson card uh, I was trying him out on the anchor, but you guys know me, I always revert back to the shadow chemistry style because one, the extra interceptions is really helpful to work with considering he's at a pretty decent height, but it's just the acceleration and sprint speed. Pace in this game is such a relevant thing to work with that it just feels like it's super necessary um, to give him that chemistry style. Like when I was using it, I was like, nah, I need the extra pace. I need that extra acceleration to work with because in this game, it's just very important, right? Uh, defensively, the card's decent. Like I said, he has the high, high work rate now um so it allows them to play in the meta of the game perfectly fine it's not like it's a terrible card by any means but it makes sense that they were to release this card or that they release this card as a gameplay objective because it's nothing crazy special but again it has been improved to the point where it is uh good enough to use in the meta of the game passing is fine sometimes i did really bad passes it's sometimes i do bad passes to kind of like get into defensive positions to try out certain things and then sometimes i just do it because i'm you know but 
yeah, I wanted to test out those things. Here's the thing, okay? What you notice a lot with this card is the dribbling parts. Like, he has, like, that animation thing to it because he's very physical-oriented, obviously. So, you know, it would be nice to be able to give him the engine chemistry style, don't get me wrong. But the thing is, is that you do feel like you want the extra defensive stuff because he is a card that mainly feels like a person that is supposed to be used in a defensive way. If I were to use him as a center mid... I wouldn't mind it as much if it's on stay back while attacking, but on the balance stuff where he's pushing forward and coming back, it just doesn't really make a lot of sense. But yes, if you do give him the engine chemistry style, he'll feel a little bit more responsive in game, but it just, it kind of feels pointless for me to do that because it's not a play style that I would go with uh, when it comes to the Emerson card. Do I think that the Premier League has better midfielders? Um, I do personally. Let's see what we're working with actually. So Premier League midfielders. Okay. So we're going to have to go with, it doesn't, we can't search like, oh, well, yeah, midfielders, I guess. You can't really search the other things, though. Let's see here. Andrew Robertson, to be honest, I would rather use him. Yeah, I'd rather use him. He's formatted nicely, and he has great animation choices defensively. I liked him a lot. Uh, the reason why I know I like Robertson is because, like, honestly, there was a point where I was using his left back card, and he just has, like, really good animation choices. Uh, Conte's obviously better. Um... Then there's like a whole lot of other cards. Mark Knoll was pretty generic for the price, especially like nothing crazy special. Jordan Henderson's decent. Um, so I guess if you're looking at the options here, it's not that bad. <laughs> like if you're looking at these options for a gameplay objective that's free, that gives you those chemistry links if you need it, you can't go wrong with it. So I'm not completely against this card as a gameplay objective, but it makes sense that they released him as a gameplay objective. It's one of those types of things. So um, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.